Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Other M Part 16. Apologize for that slight like little mistake with the last video and misnaming it or whatever. Um So I apologize for that. Um so let's get started with part 16. It's part 16 and I totally forgot what we were doing. That's what the recap is for. After Samus sets out for Sector 3, the exam center explodes. Adam then informs Samus that there might be survivors in Sector 2. Sadam, uh, Samus sets out for Sector 2. <laughs> Color Saturn, wow. Blech. I'm tongue tied today. Mostly because I'm kind of tired. Oh, you've got to be shitting kidding me. Oh, no. There is desync. God. This is really sad. I am sorry, people. But, I... Yeah, I can't fix it. Damn it. Because the desync is with the video or whatever, so... And it, and it catches up in most parts, so it will catch up, so... I am sorry about that. I don't know what went wrong. Maybe my... Maybe Pinnacle was just being a douchebag, most likely. Hopefully it'll catch up soon. Not meaning now yet. I'm so pissed off. This is the first time recording that this has actually happened, and I don't check my clips like you know before saving and stuff. So it's not like I can go back and re-record it. This part is a complete and total failure. Because this is going to annoy the shit out of me royally. Because I hate these things. Ingenious shine spark across these tubes. Did it get fixed? I think so. Yes, it did. I'm pretty sure it did. Yay, the part can be slightly saved. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, there's a slight little decent. Uh, hopefully the entire footage that I recorded in this couple hours or whatever does it get desynced. If it does, I'm gonna be super pissed off. Cause I, it's nearly like around two hours of footage that I recorded in this part. Simply for the fact that one of the um, bosses royally was fucking annoying. Okay, so by hearing the dust stream, oh, okay. Now we know that's these things. Please get it fixed. Of course, it won't get fixed. God damn it! I am so pissed off right now. Like. I'm so pissed off, I am talking in a calm, normal voice. I need to blow those things up, because I can't shine spark either. 
God, I, and I'm sorry for keep on going on about it, but it's just it's really annoying. Like, yeah, this video is less of a le left let's play, more just a rant on me hating desync more than anything else. frames. No, it had to be fucking retarded ass decent. Drop frames are annoying too, but at least they're manageable because you can like, they're quick typically and they don't appear quite often. Is that to be a good sign that the audio is in sync now? I think it is. Yes, it it got fixed. I think. Knock on wood. Yes. And you. This part threw me off for hours, like about a half hour, I think. You have to be super, super, like, accurate with the pointer. It's really annoying. Oh yeah, also, if you blow up this rock, there's a missile tank. No, wait. I'm not sure. I think it's a missile tank. I can't remember. Half, of, like, most of the power-ups in here are in missile tank. Might be an energy part. I'm not completely sure. And there's a super missile door where you can come back and get stuff later. And you have to come back to this area because there's a power up in this room. I think like a couple of them actually, but you can't go because it's in. Wow, that was a complete fail. But you can't go because it goes into Resident Evil 
over his shoulder scrolling mode at this point, see? So you can't jump on any of the crates, but you can do it in the after game. I know why you're here. Well, now I think the part is saved, pretty much. Aside from the desync in the beginning. No, it, you don't understand. I'm here to rescue you. You're lying. I know the Galactic Federation got back on wants to track. silence everyone who knows about our work here. Got back on track on the crucial moments. Good job, video recording software. How can I trust you when your troops are willing to kill each other? Plot twist. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's Ripley. Oh, wow. That was a major fail. I didn't have full health, so it crushed me in one hit. That's really sad. Okay, now we have night now we have full health and stuff, so Okay, no, to sell. Do not Yeah, sense dodge makes you invincible, even if you're like you know, hitting it while doing sense dodge. Yeah. Pretty much. You have a lot of invincibility frames. Sweeping attacks like aren't are you aren't protected against those, pretty much. Sense dodge you like Damn it. And so I guess that's where we'll end our part. So see you guys next time on Let's Play Metroid Other M. Sorry for the desync.